Hello Team Gemini, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are in the world. Um, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way, so flip it, reverse it, however it resonates to your situation. Gem, I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are in the world. Let's get into your love reading. I'm going to start off with the energy oracle cards. All the decks I use are down below. Then we'll get into tarot and some more. So what I'm getting here is there's a contract that is, someone is getting out of a contract here, okay? This can be anything. This could be a marriage. This can be a karmic contract. This could be a commitment. It doesn't have to be so much it could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. So whatever it is, someone's coming out of this and it's guiding them to their journey, okay? Someone's starting a, a new journey here and this has to do with, um, for some of you, this is a new journey with someone else. Um, it okay this is what I want to say for some of you I'm picking up a new journey with the same person but for some of you I'm picking up with a completely new person okay so I'm getting two types of scenarios for this reading and this has a lot to do with coming together okay this is a caring connection Gemini and this is about newness okay I feel that for some of you, you could have been waiting for someone to come out of a contract and you both will reconcile, okay? You'll have a reconciliation, but for some of you, I feel that to those of you who've had like um, a connection with someone who was very, um, it felt very karmic in a sense where it had a lot of karma you both had to work through and it was a real struggle it could have been toxic is what I'm getting like very toxic behavior or energies that you had to deal with with that kind of energy I'm getting someone new is coming in okay it's kind of like you're releasing that energy what I'm with this group to those who have been dealing with a very karmic connection okay I'm gonna say car all connections are karmic, guys, with soulmates. We all have karma with soulmates. But what I'm getting is very, um, how should I say it? Okay, I just got narcissist. So for those of you, and I don't like to put up narcissist easily as a lot of people do, but if you were dealing with someone who was like a complete narcissist, it's like that person is, it's they're phasing out of your life, okay? That that contract is done. Some of you really learned a very hard lesson when it has to do with that, you know, narcissist person. Okay, I just got somebody too was dealing with somebody who was an alcoholic. Um, a really bad, um, um, very toxic alcoholic, okay? So for those of you, this person, it's like you learned whatever you had to learn. You know, congratulations to whoever you are. You learn self-love, you learn self-value, you learn a lot of things. And that connection is just being phased out. I'm getting goosebumps all over. So spirit is really taking that person out of your life for good. And it's because, I'm sorry, I'm doing that. It's like um, spirit really made a judgment call, okay? And that's why I'm getting this, like the judgment. Um, there, It's goodbye for that person, okay? You did... You learned whatever you're supposed to learn, Gemini, if this is you or whoever, and that person is being phased out of your life, and you're starting a new journey, but what I feel like for most of you, someone new is coming in, um, so it's it's kind of half-half is what I want to say, so you know who you are, if those scenarios fit you or not, so just take whichever resonates with you, okay? But yeah, there's definitely a caring connection brewing, <laughs> is what they're saying. It's brewing, okay? So that means um, for those of you who are leaving very toxic 
I'm getting very unhealthy, codependent, sucking your energy dry kind of relationships, connections, okay? There is a new connection brewing is what they're saying, okay? A new connection. Some of you are going to be so surprised. Like, you're just going to be like, it's kind, you know the kind of energy I'm getting? Like, I feel like someone's saying here, I had the devil before, okay? I'm just quoting what someone's saying. Like, I had the devil before. And now it's like, I'm getting the angel. Oh my God, that's so, I'm getting goosebumps all over. So, I mean, some of you are going to be so surprised that you're going to cry from happiness is what I'm getting. Wow. And spirit said, hang on. Okay. All right. So, Illuminati Tarot. Oh, all right. Ooh, I love it. There is a shift, spirit is saying. Okay. So, for those of you, it doesn't matter if this is the old person, guys, or if this is the new person. So you might this is past present reading, a past present future reading. So just keep in mind if this is not the past person that I'm speaking about, it's a future person or it's a new person, okay? So someone here is coming out of um their obligations, the imbalance that they were going through. Okay, this person could have had, you know, taken on more than they should have. Okay, and this person is coming out of that energy. So if you were with someone from the past that, you know, um, it's like they always had something going on. They didn't have time for this connection. They're coming out of that imbalance. Okay, they're coming out of being overwhelmed with so much to do. Or like, a, what I'm getting is a burden, okay? So whatever this person was juggling, okay? Um, this is not my juggle people card, by the way, that I don't do tarot like that. But this is more about someone, it's like they had so much going on that they didn't have time and attention for this connection. They're coming out of that. And this is going to be big. And this person, I feel, is rushing in, okay? They're rushing in, um... Because they're so, it's like, they're so, they feel free is what I'm getting. Coming out of this energy. So they're rushing in and they're rushing in with some type of communication towards you, Gemini. This could be vice versa. Keep that in mind. But um, this person is finally freeing themselves from whatever situation it is. It's been a long time. Um, for some of you, if this, this is a future person, that means that this person is taking care of whatever they have to come out of. And um, some of you might meet this person very surprisingly. It's like somewhere you never thought you're going to meet them. Okay, for those of you who it's a new person, but um, it's kind of like you run into each other somehow, some way. It's very like, you know, random. Okay, but it isn't because spirit is never random, right? So here I see. Um, someone finally freeing themselves, becoming independent, coming out of whatever responsibilities and obligations and burdens is what I'm feeling. That this person it was carrying a very heavy burden on them. They're they're freeing themselves finally. If this is the old person we've been reading about, Gemini, I'm really happy for you. I don't know if you still want them. Let me know in the comments. You still want the old person or not? But. Ooh. I love it. <laughs> okay. Why? Hold on. Oops. Okay. So here you are. I feel like most of you, this is you. This is the witch's tarot. Whoever's on this side. Okay. Second person. This is you waiting for the truth, you waiting for someone to come through, you waiting for an apology for someone. I do feel like this person, you felt ignored from them, you felt neg neglected for a long time, okay? But things are balancing out, and as we got the ending of a contract, there's a new contract, okay, coming through. I feel like you're in these energies of, hey, 
let's just make it work okay if this is a like let's start new let's make this work kind of energy i'm feeling from you and you're just waiting for something stable whoever you are something stable something fair for both of you because what i feel like it wasn't fair for you in the past how this person treated you but you recognize okay so gemini you you know this person's situation if it's a past person and you recognize that but you're waiting for this person to come through okay you're waiting for them to come through but what I feel like is that you are waiting, but you're still living your life. You're not stopping because I just did Taurus and it was a different um, approach, different energies. And this is about you. You're like, okay, I'm going to, you know, I expect this person to come back. It's like you expect them to come back. But you're not stopping. You haven't been stopping your life for them. You're focusing on your wish fulfillment by yourself you know, focus on being happy. But the thing is, is that you're not giving this person attention. I feel like you haven't been giving them attention. You're not really, you know, um, for some of you, you pulled your energy back because you thought, you know what, what's fair is for you to come back, you to, you know, come after me. Okay. Because I know your situation I'm not going to hound you. I'm not going to do... I feel like you are very... You are so full of integrity when it comes to this person. You want to be diplomatic. You don't want your ego to yell at this person and say, Hey, you've been neglecting me. You've been ignoring me. You've been this. You've been that. You're being very um, dignified. <laughs> I like this energy. Yeah, you're not putting it. So let's see further. So as your person becomes free of whatever that was holding them down, okay? I like this energy. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Okay. This is a lot of... Wow. Okay. You guys, this person here. All right. So we got the devil energy. <laughs> there is a lot of temptation and carnal feelings this person has for you that they have not expressed. Okay. This person, I do feel like you both telepathically connect there's a crazy attraction between you two that hasn't even been um, um, fulfilled, okay? For others of you, I feel that both of you are releasing. To, when I'm getting the toxic energy, the other scenario that I was picking up on, you're finally releasing that energy okay so it's like you're releasing the toxic energy of that connection um a lot of you i'm seeing um are saging okay you're you're smudging and it's really helping release that energy okay but for those of you who didn't have that type of a toxic connection and this person now is recognizing how strong your connection is okay and that you are both meant to be together okay is what i'm getting this is a soulmate connection this is a possibly a twin flame call it what you will divine counterparts connection this person is acknowledging that and it's interesting because some of you have been away from this person like you haven't seen them for a long time and this person still has the same urges, okay? They actually have more now when they think about you. They could be dreaming of you, okay? They're, you're really heavy on their mind. And what I'm seeing here is like either the passion, that carnal desire is even increasing more, okay? I do feel like this person will reach out to you like kind of spur of the moment, Um to those of you who are dealing with someone from the past. Okay. Ooh, 
Wow. All right. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Okay. All right. So for some of you, what I'm getting is like you just want to start fresh. Okay. Whether it be like the same thing as the journey card. It's like you want to start fresh from zero, even if this person comes back for some of you. Um, you both acknowledge that this is a soulmate connection, but this has made you kind of overthink and over worry about things in the past while trying to deal with their obligations in the present, Gemini. So this person, it's like you want to start fresh. For some of you, you want to start new on your own okay you're done with this person but for others of you it's like this is what you want okay we got this three times so there is some connections that I'm picking up on it's like you know you're meant to be and you know whether or not whether it didn't happen for a long time whatever you're gonna come back together you know that in your heart you know that in your soul, okay? This is about, you know, a very strong connections that I'm picking up on. And it's like, no matter what, you know that you can start all over. Maybe the timing is wasn't right is what I'm getting from spirit, okay? But this also has to do with the way, for some of you, you're manifesting this person back, okay? For some of you, you're manifesting a new person. It has a lot to do with how positive you are and how trusting you are of the universe putting you two together okay um because a lot of you are looking for that kindred partnership that soulmate connection you've seen it in the past person for some of you and you know it's like you trust and it is manifesting okay it is manifesting especially if you're doing any type of you know manifestation or magic i'm getting it is manifesting okay so let's get into the crystal angels. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Stress reduction, watermelon tourmaline. Distress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. You know, um... I feel like you're really overthinking and worrying about something, Gemini. Your focus is on, for some of you, I'm getting your job or your business, whatever. And Spirit is saying, you, you need a break is what I just got. You need a break. Get back into your intuition. Oh, and the other thing I got. So for those of you who are trying to manifest something or this person back or whatever it is, whatever you're trying to manifest, when you're overworked and you're stressed, your manifestations will not will take way longer, okay, because it's the, it's all about the energy you're putting into it. Um, I just got a double confirmation of spirit. That message is really important for some of you, okay? So make sure that your energies are balanced when you're doing manifestation work. Progress, not perfection. So don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Exactly. It's all about progress. Think about, you know, the last, you know, six months or whatever it is, how far you're, you're making progress, okay? I know that because of times right now, it's really hard, um, but that's all a mindset. So it depends on your mindset, okay? So think about progress, you know. You can't go zero to 100, you know, real fast. When it comes to energy, okay, is what I want to say, or success, okay? Not when it comes to driving a car. <laughs> Clear chords. Let yourself feel all your emotions, your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Yeah, so open up to this so you can get clarity. And it has a lot to do with your schedule, guys. So distress yourself, okay? You're getting message. You will get messages very clearly, okay? So... Gemini, I wish you all the best. I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.